today we're going to talk about inspiration in lockdown. Personally, I've been turning to print. Even though we've seen a massive reduction in the number of publications being made, I personally feel that we're in a golden age of print. We're going to start by taking a look at a magazine called Suitcase. Suitcase is a travel journal and it gives information on pretty much every aspect of going away. From the kind of things you should take with you and information on style, to potential destinations and the cultural elements that make them significant. Each issue has a different focus, from food, to drink, to sightseeing, cultural sites and many more. One of my favourite things about this publication is its natural feel. Every image on location makes you feel like you were there. It has a real sense of belonging and ownership. It's hard not to love the things that you're being shown and the places that you're seeing. They are masters of choosing the perfect photographer for each assignment. And there's a wide variety of different kinds of images from high contrast to more naturalistic. Every single image is a winner. I absolutely love this publication. Second, we're gonna have a look at Lodestar Anthology. Now this is a new publication to me, it's the first edition I've picked up, but instantly you can feel the weight of this book. This is like a comprehensive guide to all the things that makes Wales beautiful. It takes a look at its hills and valleys, the light, the activities that you can do there, and the beautiful people that call that place home. takes you through different tourist attractions and more rare sites and all sorts of natural elements of the world. Unlike other publications, Lodestars actually includes a lot of illustration, watercolour and other artwork. Lodestars is definitely the kind of publication I would pick up if I wanted to visit a place specifically. There's plenty here for you to sink your teeth into. It's less of a general taste and more of a structured take on what's beautiful about that part of the world. If you ever plan to visit Wales, I would strongly recommend picking up this particular edition of Lone Stars. It's absolutely beautiful. 